dismiss his best friend. I have learned a lot of things from him. How to behave? How to behave with people? How to be punctual in our work? What sort of work we have to do? And uh, he was not very kind of dictatorial towards you. Which very much I can imagine. As to this question of whether he was dictatorial, well, he couldn't stand nonsense. He was a man with very clear thinking. And if anybody came with very bully suggestions and statements or long drawn out, drawn out, meaningless uh, program, he could be very tough with you. Is it a fact that you are able to get the things done because of uh, forcing a point? No, that's entirely wrong. He was a, he was a kind human being when you came to know him. I can assure he he appeared uh, very aloof and very distant. But once you came to know him, it's entirely wrong. To the fullest extent that I've ever known any man take to life. He said we cannot prolong life, but uh, so the only alternative we have is to live it to its fullest. <laughs> Behind the train of success. Did he confide in mm -hmm. you failures also? Uh, well, he had very few failures. And uh, frankly, the only failure I can recall is of such an intimate character that I can't talk to you about it. It was when he failed in a particular relationship with a lady. You could be the woman behind Dr. The woman who was closest to him in life was his mother. Uh, from the earliest years, he was devoted to her. What about lady friends? Oh, he had many lady friends. And one or two of them were exceptionally dear and exceptionally close to him. But even they recognized that mother came first in his life. He was never known to be in the state of being in love. It, perhaps that's the only thing he ever missed in love. Those who made wry remarks about the cow dung economy wishing to go into nuclear energy, Dr. Bhada convincingly explained that the other agencies concerned with industrial development have done as much in achieving technical self reliance as this department has. We will not be in the difficult economic situation in which we find ourselves today. Tara Port marks the beginning of the second stage of our technological revolution. The great realities, perhaps the greatest, is the finality of death, both for those who die and for those who live. Mm. 